This is Angel's Advice. I'm Kim Odo and I'm here with IFBB Pro Sasha and Sasha is an IFBB Figure Pro. We're here today doing a travel segment and what we'd like to talk to you about is packing and preparing for the airport. I get this question mm -hmm. Sasha all the time. I know you get it a lot oh, yeah. too and uh, everybody wants to know how do I get my food over there? How do I bring my food? What do I do? So we'd like to give some advice today on how to get your, your, prepa your prepared foods onto the airport and safely to your destination. Hi, um, yeah, and I, I travel a lot. I travel to Russia, around the world, and on my prep uh, competition program, so I always bring my food with me. I always say I never leave my house without my food. So today we want to show you what you can bring in an airport and travel with your food and what you shouldn't bring. <laughs> so um, usually I pack my, my, pack my uh, cooler cool. uh, night before so I have ready all my food to go next morning. So I put uh, all my food in small Tupperware so uh, it's all ready to go. I have my stevia and just make sure that's less than three ounces because you know like at airport uh, you cannot bring uh, more than three ounces liquid so if it says two ounces it's fine sometimes uh, you have you can have a problem with bringing some even small bottle and it says more than three ounces and it's like just a little bit left you still shouldn't bring that if you don't want to have <laughs> problems and add more stress in your travel please don't bring that uh, so stevia, two ounces is fine. I put in the freezer my cool uh, cooler bags, so it's frozen when I put in my cooler. And just before I go on the flight, I just took it out and leave in my car. I also bring my protein powder, so if in case if I uh, stuck somewhere and I don't have my food ready or it got bad, so I have uh, my protein to eat. Uh, and all you always can find a little bit water and spoon and plastic cup to mix uh, protein powder and drink it. Also, uh, you can bring um, some almonds with you in small packets. Um, another thing I, I asked a lot, like if I can bring uh, my supplements, and I always bring my supplements with me, but I pack them in small packets like this, so you're not bringing like whole <laughs> bunch of uh, small bottles. So uh, small packets, it's good. So no liquids, all packed, and uh, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, you know, you can bring in rice cakes. Yes. If you bring in peanut butter, of course, bring it in in singular packets. Don't bring it in a large container. The consistency can be a little too close to water and they'll pull it. They'll take our peanut butter. Yes. I've gotten my share of phone calls from girls. <laughs> they took my peanut butter. The and there I am at nighttime going to find peanut butter because <laughs> somebody lost their peanut butter. But uh, you can buy water. Most, almost all airports nowadays have sodium free water in them. So you can get your water at the airport airport and the nice thing about these little coolers now they're soft and they're pliable so they fit right underneath the seat you've got them with you at all times for everything you need but like Sasha said the main thing is number one pre prep at night don't wait until the morning nine times out of ten you're rushing in the morning you run out the door and you realize you left half your cooler yeah. <laughs> sitting at your house number two this is a very stressful weekend to begin with don't start it off with 10 miles of stress on top yeah. of your head. Make sure you, you try to make everything compliant as possible. And number three, enjoy the flight. It's only a three to six hour flight at the most end most times. So by having everything ready to go, by being well prepared, you have a smooth sailing flight. 